so this is a quick 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 little thing about how to make your animation into like a loopable thing so we have a walk cycle and instead of like trimming your comp and then putting heads and tails and then looping it any other way if you know your your uh what do you want to call it <laughs> if you know the duration that the animation happens over we have it at five seconds and it's a one second walk cycle that ends at six seconds so everything is the same uh this is a repeated frame so we only need to go actually one frame before the completed walk cycle and now what you do is this is where you would have go to composition new and you would just put like uh employee walk test whoop and we don't want to do it at super high res. We're going to just do 1920 by 1080. And we'll hit OK. You, biggest thing here is to make sure your frame rate's the same. All right, and this is employee three quarter view rigged. And it'll be named much better. But you would drop this in here, hit the left bracket, and you would resize this. Uh, we can import a file to be our. something really really simple you can have this guy so he's still animated in this composition doing his poses and stuff but we are gonna go to five seconds because that's where he goes to his beginning first frame and I'm just gonna have him here and what you do right click time enable time remapping put down a keyframe so you have your zero zero keyframe you have your five second keyframe and then you go to six seconds page up or whatever you want to do to get one frame before and make another keyframe and then you go to the end and make sure you delete this keyframe like that's super important and delete the first one so now it like is a lock animation and then it does this loop and stops but all we do is alt click uh, come into here property loop out hit enter and now he after the keyframes happen he will loop those keyframes forever and ever so we can drag these to the beginning of this and we can drag him like off screen pretty much open up p and i don't know how fast this guy is going to walk but we will find out something like that He's right off screen. He's just walking like crazy. Oh, he is walking way too fast. Let's cut it in half. And this is where we would have to adjust this position. We'd have to like figure out how much he moves. But if there's a a unified roll to the feet, uh, let me get an example. Like this crap this would be really really easy to loop this would be simple to loop because his feet are moving the same speed at the same rate same time and on this one he kind of has like a uh if you go into here he has like a a pull with this leg and then he stops moving and then he starts moving again so we can we would be able to work on that more after the fact, but this is like a super super easy way to uh, get your guy just walking. Here we can do we can do this. We can make it really really easy. There you go. He's just walking. We don't even have to worry about it now. And the cool thing with this is that it's just rendering the same frame, so it renders really, really quickly, like it's already done rendering. Look at this guy walk. Yeah, I love it, I love it. If you do like a uh, motion tile, just wasting time now. He's just gonna walk and walk forever.
really fast. No, not fast enough. Maybe that wasn't an exaggeration. But that's one way we could get around it. It's just by having the background move. Which I would be fine with. <clears throat> so that's a quick way to loop your animation. You can just either copy and paste this or just remember in here, property, uh, loop out, and then uh, you delete the last keyframe because that's super important. And that's how you do it.